What's up, Soup Troopers? I just finished playing Scorn, a game that many of you have been asking me to play in the comments, and I myself have been very, very excited to play this game, and it was quite the unique experience. Now, I know some of you are thinking, where's the playthrough? Well, I thought it was pretty dicey, so I threw it on my VODs channel. If you wanna watch it, it's in the comments below and the details below. I just didn't want the video to get flagged because there's a lot of crazy stuff in the game. Anyways, I thought I'd say a review instead because the question I get the most today while I was playing and after I was done is what did I think? Well, I will tell you what I think. Back a long time ago, there was this game called Agony, which I was insanely hyped for. It was catering to almost the exact same type of person as this game is trying to cater to and let me tell you really quick i was the first person on twitch to stream agony is the second it came out i started playing it i was super excited like my most anticipated game of the year similar to scorn honestly i was in denial for the first few hours of my playthrough of agony i can i could tell my chat was in agony and it wasn't a pretty sight anyways it eventually got so bad, I had to throw in the towel. I didn't even end up finishing. I, I finally came to and I was like, you guys are right, this game is is awful. And now it is, it's infamous to this day of how big of a disappointment it was. And now I know what you're thinking. Bach, shut up. This is a scorn review. Why is this relevant? Well, I woke up today and I seen the horrible slash mixed reviews for scorn, obviously before I played the game. And I immediately thought to myself, God damn it. It's Agony 2.0, isn't it? But no, no, I actually quite enjoyed um, my time with Scorn. Let me tell you, it is a very unique game catering to a very small audience of people. I'm in that audience, by the way. It is the type of person that loves works by like H.R. Geiger or movies like Prometheus. It's not super similar to Prometheus, but the setting is very similar. What it looks like is super similar to the areas in Prometheus. But uh, in terms of how the game feels and the atmosphere, it's very similar to like Videodrome by David Cronenberg or Crimes of the Future. If you love those types of movies or you love those two specific movies, then there is stuff to appreciate in here. You will enjoy things in this game but if you're buying this hoping it's the new re7 or a new outlast you are going to be severely disappointed in my opinion so right off the bat fellas let's get the bad news out of the way why do people hate this game online the intro is super slow when a game has a bad intro that is usually a bad sign of things to come because Typically, a really good game shows its weaknesses near the end. But this game starts out very slow, and the very first puzzle in the game is, first of all, super hard to find, and when you get to it, it's pretty tedious. And then if you get past that intro, and you make it to the first combat section, or the combat in general, I'd say most people are likely to put down the controller and quit, because the combat in this game is very annoying, and it's very hard to deal with. There's also no story, <laughs> and no no dialogue but if you make it past the intro if you make it past the combat in my opinion there's quite a bit to enjoy especially if you're part of that audience I mentioned earlier if you're not part of that audience you're probably gonna hate the rest of the game from that point onward the game has stunning visuals revolving around body horror really cool sound effects for the weaponry and the enemies and the areas all combined to create a great atmosphere most of the areas in the game are huge alien like hubs that basically it basically looks like it's taken from prometheus that act like huge puzzles within puzzles almost like you're walking around and trying to solve a rubik's cube i woke up and seen the horrible reviews and almost wrote this game off instantly and i'm super glad i gave it a fair shot because i quite enjoyed my playthrough if you can get past the annoying combat that honestly in my opinion should even be in the game because it makes the game far worse and you're craving body horror and things of that ilk you may enjoy parts of the game like i did overall guys this is a really hard game to recommend because it honestly wasn't made for everyone it wasn't made to fly off the shelves have the internet talking about how amazing every aspect was it was made for sick freaks like me at the bottom of the horror barrel that want to watch babies get crushed in machines to extract their blood to put into a syringe to put in someone else's pee pee to have it explode and the blood from the pee pee explosion gets soaked on the walls and the specific wall opens up revealing more puzzles it's made for sickos like that and to be fair there, that's not many people and I think this game is getting so much controversy because people thought it was gonna be like re7 or people thought it was gonna be like a first-person shooter almost with a couple puzzles here and there but no the very slow paced the combat's super annoying there are puzzles 
every step. And like I said, it's, it's grotesque. Anyways, I wasn't disappointed by this game. I think people probably will be, but aside from the combat, it's almost exactly what I expected. It's just like the trailers, like everything else, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, guys, if you played Agony and it put you in Agony and you're still craving that uh, same kind of thing, this might make you happy, and I do recommend you try it if you're in the kind of people I was talking about. The baby's crushing, the, the blood sucking, the wiener's popping. You might be in for a good treat with this game. Anyways, if you want to watch my playthrough, it'll be in the VODs channel down below, and it'll be in the details, in the comments, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. Thank you, guys. Have an awesome night, and I will see you next video. Oh, yeah.